Hi, this is Needlepointers.com. This garden art project, which is a dish bird feeder, is a fun and a unique item to add to any garden. If you need an idea for Mother's Day, I am sure that your mother would love to have one of these. Today, I will explain how to make one by recycling old dishes and glassware. To make the bird dish feeder, collect inexpensive dishes and glassware from yard sales, flea markets, thrift stores, or search your cupboards to see something that you have not been using. One thing that you will definitely need is a bud vase for this project. After you have the uh, dishes, uh, which I am going to be using these three here for my bird feeder. Wash them and dry them thoroughly. For the project, you are also going to need a strong adhesive, and I like E6000. You also have to decide how you're going to stake the uh, bird feeder. You can use a copper tubing, PVC tube, or a wooden dowel. But what you should do is measure the opening on your bud vase to make sure that whatever you use for your stake will go inside of it, will fit inside. The stake is normally about three and a half feet tall, but you can use whatever height you prefer. And if you're using copper tubing, which I like, I cut it using an HDX Junior Tube Cutter. Watch our tube cutting video to see how to use this tool by clicking the iCard or the link in the description section. Also remember that if you use wooden dowels, they can rot over time, so you may have to replace them occasionally. If you decide to use more than one dish for your bird feeder, uh, you need to glue the dishes together. Now, I, I am going to glue mine in a little up this way, so what you need to do is apply a generous amount of E6000 glue to the bottom of the dish, then just press it firmly onto the other dish and allow it to dry at least 24 hours. If you're only using one dish, or after multiple dishes are completely dry, it's time to put on the bud vase on the bottom. Now, my dish is going is a little lopsided because it's not in the center. So what you need to do is try to make sure that the back is like even. This is even. Then apply some E6000 adhesive around the rim of the bud vase. Then firmly press it in the center. And you might want to hold it there for about 60 seconds or so because it does have a tendency to um, shift or move. After that you've done that, again, you're going to allow it to dry completely. And that should be at least 24 hours. The dish bird feeder is finished and ready to put in my garden. Just push the stake into the ground, place the dish bird feeder on top by placing the pipe inside the bud vase, add bird seed, and the feeder is ready. Whimsical garden art such as dish bird feeders and dish flowers make your yard so cheery. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel so you do not miss future videos. Follow us on Twitter, Pinterest, 
and Facebook by clicking the iCard or the link in the description below. Also, visit our website, needlepointers.com, for more craft information and free projects. 